Um, oh, there's a zombie right there. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a little scary. <laughs> Can we get pop her? Oh! Yeah, maybe we better not, <laughs> we better not sit right on the edge. Um, oh, crap! Welcome back, everybody, to the Zombie Metropolis series featuring Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue working our way through the Isaiah <laughs> uh, Furniture slash whatever else store. Um, I went ahead and secured the main entrance and the side entrance uh, from the Blood Moon. Um, and I don't know if there are other ways they can get up here. There probably are. But what we're going to do, I broke those stairs out and I broke the stairs out in the main entrance. What we're going to do is we're going to continue looting this place during the Horde Night and see if we can uh, survive if they, if they, if they come, well, let's put it this way. If, if they have a way to get up here, uh, then what we'll probably do is run outside, maybe to here and, um, and nerd pull up to the to the roof. So what we could maybe do is put a, a frame there because I can I can jump up there. Maybe let's put two frames so I don't overshoot it. Um, and get up on the you know try and get up on the roof that way. Uh, so yeah, if they if if they get up here, what we'll do is we'll you know we'll try and get away from them uh, at least with enough time to get out there, jump up on the uh, the nerd poles to get up to the top because uh, there isn't a way an obvious way that I have found at least yet that we can get over uh, to the other side of the store where uh, we had our other pathway up to the roof. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to try. Um, I, I am under no illusion that we're going to get away with this. <laughs> just to, I didn't want to sit up on the roof all night and just twiddle my thumbs. Um, so I figured, well, let's just keep going and take our chances and, you know, see if we can get away from the horde if possible. Um, I got kind of banged up taking out the stairs because it aggroed a whole bunch more zombies, so I had to fight them off, and uh, yeah, got a little banged up, but uh, we're, we're fine. We just have to wait for that to wear off, which is actually going to be a little while, so we're going to have to be really careful here. All right, uh, let's eat some food uh, just to get our, our food and water back up a little bit. We'll drink this boiled water, too, just for the same purpose there. Um, all right, so let's uh, continue on. Um, one thing I'm noticing, at least about what we've seen so far in here, is uh, doesn't I, I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff to loot. I mean, we have trash cans and that sort of thing, but uh, you know, and there, there's plenty of things we could salvage too. You don't know, like all the the appliances and stuff over there, but let's just kind of look around without putting too much emphasis on looting. Um, we will loot, but I'm not going to try and loot every last little possible thing in the place, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we just want to kind of check it out. And of course, you know, any major, uh, stuff like loot crates, hidden stash boxes, that sort of thing, you know, we will loot. You know, one thing I am going to do though, is I am going to, all right, you know what? We need to be, <laughs> we need to be ready to go here. Just... Because uh, I I had I did not have time you know to check the entire place. There's another floor down below over there that we haven't looked at either. Um. So let's just see what happens if if we see them getting up here, then we got to make a beeline for our escape route. Um. And I kind of I kind of don't want them over in that section because we haven't had a chance to loot it. Anyways, what I was saying though is I want to um. 
I want to I want to grab plastic stuff uh, because you know because oh oh they're yeah they're through already they're through already okay <laughs> <Wait. laughs> gone it all right well I thought maybe we we could pull this off but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen now that didn't take them long at all did it I just saw a buzzard. Where is he? Uh, wait, where did he go? I just saw a buzzard. What the hell? I could have sworn I just saw a buzzard. Okay. Whatevs. Oh, there's... Okay, there's one. I don't know if that's the same one we saw before, but... Maybe it was, and he... Oh, I'll bet you he flew off into the trees where we couldn't see him. Okay. At least I'm not going crazy. At least I don't think I'm going crazy. All right, you guys. Well, so much for... <laughs> so much for looting the place during the Horde Night. Um, I'm going to have to hunker down on the roof until the Horde Night's over. And then, um... What? Is that a boss vulture? How... That's not a boss vulture, is it? I don't think so. How in the hell did that not kill him? Almost point blank shotgun range. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll just I'm just gonna hunker down, um, and wait. You know, I wait out the horde night, and then in the morning, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll we'll go from there. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you guys in the morning. Okay, guys, I'm back with an update. Uh, the night's about half over. Uh, pretty been uh, been pretty uneventful so far. Uh, I've looted a few things up on the roof here, and let's actually. Um, here, let's just do this. Do we get plastic from these? Yeah, we do. Okay. It used to be here in, um, Undead Legacy, when you looted a trash bag, you got the whole trash bag itself that you could then use for, for a container. Um, so I've kind of been hanging out over on this end of the building where there's a lot more ruined stuff just to try and minimize, uh, the Zombos wrecking things. Um, so... I think I'm just going to continue to do that. Every once in a while, a zombie comes into range of my sniper rifle. And we uh, take them out. But for the most part, yeah, things are pretty quiet. I haven't had any more. This is kind of weird how the roof... What? That's weird. Um, it doesn't quite line up there. Anyway, um, I haven't had any more buzzards show up. At least not yet. That doesn't mean they won't. But we can take them out if they do. So I've just kind of been perched on this little section here with my sniper rifle out and some sometimes a zombo will come down, you know, into into view and then I'll take it out. But otherwise, they seem to be kind of down in this area. Um yeah, there's a zombie right there. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh Yeah, that was uh that was a little scary. <laughs> Can we get pop her? Oh, yeah. Maybe we better maybe we better not sit right on the edge. Um. Oh crap! I can't believe I just did that. I mean, I can believe it, but I can't believe it. Oh shit! That was not intentional. That was not intentional at all. Uh, what the hell's going on? Oh, do we got the POI issue here? Um. Okay. Can you guys get up here? Uh, answer is yes. All right, I did not mean to do that. Damn it. Um, here. I think we have the uh, the POI issue. I gotta be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, this is not good. I'm just gonna throw that out there. This is not good at all. Um, run. <laughs> okay, how do we even get out of here? Oh no, this is not good. Okay, they. Did they break through over here? Oh, okay. We're outside. Good. Uh, well, I mean, sort of good. If we can get up to here. Okay, so we got up there. Oh, crap. Um, ow. Um, this isn't going to help at all. Okay, here. Can we get up here? We only have six frames. Shit. Okay, so here's... <laughs> here's where we have 
to do. You're gonna have to zigzag up. And I gotta make sure I don't over jump with parkour too. Oh, shit. That was not on purpose, you guys. I did not plan to fall, <laughs> fall down there. Oh, shit. Um. Okay, I think we're, I think we're okay. So just as long as I don't overshoot the jump here. I, I gotta, I gotta calm down a little bit. Focus, focus, old guy. Okay, we can't be doing that again. No siree, Bob. <laughs> we cannot be doing that again. Let's grab uh, as many of these as we can because we're kind of short on frames. Oh, man, I can't believe that. Whew, okay. Yeah, we survived that one. I, and I even still have a broken leg, so I'm not even running very fast. Um, how, <laughs> Where did we fall down through at? Must have been over... Was it over here? I don't even know. I'll have to watch the... I'll have to watch the video again. Um, yeah, let's not be doing that anymore. Okay. Anyway, um, there's a... There's a box down there. Let's grab that. Hidden stash. Okay. Um, we already know this, so we'll scrap it and... We might as well learn that. Just for the hell of it, right? Okay. Can we reach this? There we go. Okay, well, um, yeah, that was exciting. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where, I don't even, where did I fall down through? I don't even remember now. It, it was somewhere over on this side. I'll, I'll have to look at the video, but anyway. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to let you go here. And again, I'm just going to hunker down until until day and then uh i'll bring you back at that point and we'll continue our exploration of the isaiah store complex all right see you guys in the morning maybe <laughs> all right guys it's morning and we finished out the rest of the night uh with no issues i'm just wondering because you know i'm so far away from the horde at this point if they'll despawn if they won't then we'll have to uh probably just jump in the Humvee and drive far enough away to get them to despawn and then come back. So let's just wait a couple more moments and see if they, if that will happen. And then, uh, we'll proceed. So yeah, I was, uh, I watched the, 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 that video clip over again after I left you guys. And I was actually all the way back over there when I fell down. I couldn't remember. <clears throat> Boy, that was, that was lucky, man. We could have like rebroken our leg. I mean, you know, I do have parkour and the the boots. Uh, you know, the boot mod thingies, these things, impact racers. But still, we could have rebroken our leg because it's still broken. And then I don't think I could have gotten out of there without getting et. So uh, we made it, though. That's the important thing. Okay, I'm still hearing zombos. So I think what we should do is probably... We should probably just make it to our Humvee, drive off, and let them despawn because I don't want to try and fight those zombies right now. Uh, we would expend a lot of ammo, uh, for one thing, if we did that. And um, so let's hop down here and hop down here. I'm going to grab these two. If, you know, if it was just sleepers, we'd have riled up, I'd fight them, but, you know, we still have, could have demos and irradiated, so I just don't want to mess with those guys right now. Let's just wait by our vehicle for a moment and see what we're dealing with. You know, and I don't know, you know, how much damage these guys did to the store. I mean, they did some, but it was pretty much unavoidable. Hopefully, they didn't wreck anything real significant. Okay, so, uh, I'm starting to think maybe the Blood Moon did despawn because they'd probably 
be after us by now. I mean, I did I did rile up a, a bunch of um, sleepers too. So that could be what we're dealing with. I'm not hearing like demos and cops either. So okay, I'll bet you we're just dealing with sleepers now. Okay, well, let's cautiously proceed here. So we we had already cleared out this bottom floor here. And I'm not even really sure, you know, what the the pathway we're supposed to be going along is now. You know, it's definitely we're not supposed to be going through there. If, if we're going to, you know, continue to try and follow the path, which I'd like to do. Let's grab this. Okay, so as I was uh, saying earlier, what we're going to do is we are going to loot, or I'm sorry, we're, we're going to salvage things that's going to give us uh, plastic. And, you know, we have a, a drop down there too, over there that we can check out uh, over that way. So I'm only hearing like one or two Zekers now. So we'll deal with them as, you know, as they come come to us. I'm just a normal Zombo. I'm not afraid of you at all. You're a feral. Still handle you. Okay, so I think that's it. I think we finally got rid of all the riled up zombos from uh, from the night time. Um, again, I'll check. I'm gonna actually check the trashes for the purpose of actually looting them. We might as well hit the beds too because uh, that's just gonna give us glass. We don't need glass. Oh, yeah, we should check those two for for food. We got that. Um, uh, we got that perk in uh, the last episode that uh, gives us a, a greater... Ch oh, okay, so... Oh, okay, so it wants us to parkour this way with spikes underneath. Oh, wow, okay. Um, How are we supposed... Okay, so we came up through here, and we're supposed to loot all of this stuff here. Okay, Um. so... Let's hit this and check everything over in this area. And let's see what's in this drop here. Oh, very nice. We don't need it, but still, that's good loot, man. That is really good loot. May lag. <laughs> May lag. How have I never noticed that before? That's probably been in this game ever since the washing machine's been in the game. May lag. How funny, man. That's hilarious. You know what? I'm going to take a hackers because if we're going to salvage, let's take a hackers. There we go. Aloe vera seed schematic. We actually need that. I'll take it. I really wish we could salvage those things for brass, but we get brass from sinks now, so that's good. Okay, so I don't see anything else from the bathroom section here that we need. This is just like a shower head. Do we... I don't think we get brass from this, do we? No. Okay. All right, let's go around to the other side. I think... I don't think there's anything here. It just gives us scrap iron. Um, I guess, okay, we do have some trash here. For plastic. Does, does this give us plastic? 
No, I think that just gives us paper. Because it's not in a plastic bag. There's one here, too. Okay, so we're we're not supposed to be we're not supposed to go in here because this was all blocked off. So I'm gonna leave it for when we come to it legit. Um so now let's go on this side. And uh I'm not really too worried about that scrap iron to be honest with you. And anything that can give us plastic is really what I'm mostly interested in at this point. We don't need leather. We don't need a lot of other stuff. We just need the plastic. We'll check the pictures in case there's a safe behind him. And we do have some bookcases here, so let's check these out. Okay, get some research points. Okay, that's new. Um, when in combat, health recovers one hit point with every punch. And we have finished the uh, the hand-to-hand -hand or bar brawling. So uh, the seventh unarmed strike landing in the short term does 300% damage. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, we're going to continue to get points, so we could mess with that a little bit at some point if we wanted to, I guess. Those things are worthless to us. And I don't really care about the lamps so much. And I think we're finished. I think we're finished on this side of the store. We didn't get any plastic out of that deal. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and move out this way. Oh my goodness, this is a little precarious, isn't it? So we're like in a, in a, <laughs> a little showroom here. Check these real quick. Okay, we got some peas. That's important for a shepherd's pie, even though we haven't found the recipe for that here. Oh, man. Um, really? So you want me to jump on this and go out that way? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing we have parkour. That'd be a little more difficult otherwise. Check in here. Get some brass. No safe there. Okay. Walk around here. I'm liking the POI, man. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Very clever. Another one of the, the really good ones here. Okay, so the light wants us to go around here. We'll check this. These are... We actually came over here... Oh, right, when we when we came down from the roof. Okay. Um, do we get plastic from these? I don't think so. I think it's just iron, yeah. Um, I guess we'll take these apart. We'll get some steel plating. That's always useful. Okay, let's move this direction. So that goes down that way. Uh, this is the room that we... Oh, no, wait. This is the room that we secured from the roof. Okay. Where did you guys all come from? It's a lot of zombies. All right. That was a big old rush. Um, let's go ahead and take a, uh, antibiotic. It's like the fourth antibiotic I've had to take since we've entered this place. And it looks like we need a splint. Oh. So why can't we, wait, why can't we use a splint? I don't know. Uh, we don't need a first aid bandage because we, th this took care of the abrasion. Oh, because it's a sprain. Okay, well, all right. We're going to limp along a little bit here for a while, but that's what... That's the name of the game, man. Um, 
yeah, that was a hell of a lot of zombies for, for one little session there. <laughs> okay, I think uh, other than the... All right, see, so, you now we would have been led up onto the roof coming this way if we came legit, right? Uh, I did check that munitions box, didn't I? I can't imagine I would have not checked it. Oh, I did. Yeah, it had that backpack in it. Okay. So I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go from here. It doesn't look like there's any way to go down this way. Um, I can't, I don't remember if we were supposed to come through here or not. So let's get the plastic. Oh, we've, yeah, we've already been in here, right? Um, that's not, yeah, that's just glass. Yeah, we've already been in here. Okay. Um, let's, okay, let's leave all this here. We didn't check the desk out. I don't need another college jacket or green paint for that matter. Okay, so we can either go down and there is a light there or we can go in here, which I'm guessing we're probably not supposed to come in here yet. So let's, let's go down. I think that's the way we're supposed to go here. More than likely that door was a was blocked off and we weren't supposed to go that way, I'm guessing. Oh, look at that. A yellow drop. Oh, shit! That is so hacks, man. I hate that when that happens. Stupid sleeper system. Man, that woke up a bunch of Zeeks. Another big rush of them. These must be all of the Isaiah employees. They must have had quite the medical department to have all those nurses. Oh my god. What the hell? Alright, time to get out the big gun. I mean, you know, none of these guys are super tough in their own right, but when you have ten of them, you know what I'm saying? Lord. I don't recommend coming into this place until you are like maxed out in end game gear, you guys. <laughs> this place is dangerous as all hell. Of course, it's probably scaled a little bit too. Uh, I'm guessing it is anyways for me because of my level and stuff. But still, holy crap, that's a lot of zombies. I mean, even, even if those were super low level zombies, it's just the quantity of them, uh, which makes them so dangerous. Okay, let's... Now we should be able to use that. And we have a new abrasion, so let's take a small... Uh, can we take a small bandage for that? No, I don't think we can because we're still on this, so... Whew, okay, let's reload. And then we'll head down here and see what's what's what. Okay, so guessing that we're not supposed to go through here. Probably also not supposed to go that way either. What do we got here? Military gloves. Okay. Never been a fan of the hollow points in this game. But we'll learn it. Uh, we don't, certainly don't need those, so we'll scrap them for the military stuff. Not that we need that either, but <laughs> got like two and a half stacks of it. Okay, are all these salvage or reels? Okay, these are reels. Um, I wouldn't mind getting some health bars and some more eye candy, but I don't have any money on me right now. So uh, it's something I might come... You know, we still have to do the treasure... Um, which is way back somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, way the hell back down here. So, I don't know. I might come back here and hit all these machines, but if I do that, it'd be after we clear the place and off camera. So, let's hit these vending machines here. Okay, so, 
We'll move along this way. Okay, there's a bunch of landmines and spikes over there, so... Yeah, come right on over that landmine there, buddy. There you go. Ow! <laughs> what the hell, man? It, it damaged him. He was almost dead, but still, that was funny. We don't have to worry about landmines ourselves because we got the, the safety perk thing for that. A purple blunderbuss. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think we need that. Okay. Let's come around this way. So this is like the, the checkout area. Probably going to get some more sleepers down here unless we've already woken them. Nope, there's a big mama right there. She did. Let's go check this out here. That's where we were on the roof where we fell off. He did. There's a glower there. That's a pretty decent amount of cement there. Some of that probably got destroyed too. That, that would be worth coming back for, my word. That would definitely be worth coming back for. Uh, I don't need to pick up that shopping basket. Okay, let's go look what we have here. Freezer with some food. That one doesn't have anything. Is this a lootable register? Nope. Okay, so we'll work our way along this, you know, this side of the building first, and then we'll go do that side. It's kind of unfortunate that uh, they destroyed some of those cement things, but yeah, it is what it is. Ooh, there's a glower. All right, can we... Uh, we can't hit through the registers there. All right, let's deal with this guy. Oh, there we go. We got a lucky headshot off on him. You don't usually one-shot glowers. Sometimes you can, like we just did, but that's not a common occurrence. More plastic. That's just a crawler. Where's he at? Yeah. Blah. All right, we got a glower and a normal. Got somebody else's attention behind the wall. Let's deal with this glower here. I uh, don't think we're gonna be able to shoot be able to shoot through the shelving there. Might be able to, but let's just not take any chances. Double tap. Okay, so we got some boxes to check here. Sure would be nice to find some Dune Buggy parts game. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, I don't think that hole's supposed to be there. Hidden stash. And we'll scrap that. There's a bunch of other stuff in my inventory I need to scrap too, but... 
I'm not, uh, you know, I'll take care of all that off camera. I'm not going to do that while we're recording. Okay, let's move into this section. Take him out. These are, oh, that's a usable vending machine. The other one is not. There's some good stuff in there. Let's take care of Biker. This is the customer service area. We have two skill points to spend now. All right, let's grab this. Okay, nobody behind here. All empty. Axe. Okay, I don't see anybody over here. Man, look at all this concrete. I'm I'm you know what? I'm gonna pick this concrete up and go stash it out in our vehicle because uh I, I just can't pass up this much concrete. And like I said, it's too bad we actually lost some of it too, but it is what it is. Uh so let's grab that. Um I mean I could use the Valkyrie, but then we're probably gonna get a rush, but I mean we're gonna have to deal with the zombies one way or the other, right? So screw it. Okay, we're encumbered, but we got um, over 3,000 cement from that. And we, you know, oh, we would have even gotten more, of course, if the uh, Zombos hadn't ruined any of it. But, I'll, you know, I'll try and remember that that's there if I ever do this POI again in the future. So I'm going to go offload. Oh, we got we to gotta deal with this glower here. And we got a football player in there. These tacos don't, uh, I mean, they're, it's, it's good food, but it's one of the lower, uh, quality, uh, well, it's one of the lower valued of the higher quality foods, if that makes sense. Down with that sickness. This is the Isaiah Bister. Oh, probably Bistro. Yeah, it's probably the coffee shop. That might have gotten broken from a Zombo, maybe? I don't know. All right, let's deal with this guy. Double tap. Okay. Our vehicle's right out here. Uh, let's just poke our head in here and see if there's any... Uh, other zombos that are hiding that we can't see. No, I think we're good. Oh, there's a safe. Chamois box with plastic. Beautiful. All products on sale. Shamway Foods. Okay, so we're going to, uh, um, I'm going to offload stuff and then uh, I'll meet you back in there and we'll proceed. Okay, guys, we're back and... Uh, just going to check all the stuff out in here really quick. We have some boxes up above. What do we get from these things? Electrical parts and pipes, it looks like. Okay. There's a lootable fridge. Shamway box with three shams. That's good. And three more shams. And three more shams. Nice. That's all going to turn into sham chowder for us. Okay, we need to bust these open. Can we reach them from here? Sure enough. More plastic. And some meat. Did we check this one? Yeah, we did already. Okay, um, I don't think we get plastic from any of this stuff, so I'm just, not, I'm not going to uh, bother taking it apart right now. Okay, let's proceed. Let's 
So we were coming through this way. Did I check these? Nope, those are just uh, salvage, salvage ones. There's nothing lootable here in the shopping carts except for this one here. We'll check it and see if we can get some more canned food. All right, well, we'll take that too, I guess. All right, I'm going to I'm going to salvage these and then we'll proceed. Okay, I am um I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go from here. Let's go look back over here and see if we can find a guiding light. Okay, so um we're back here. That that appears to probably just be a hole that they made in the wall. Oh, safe. Yeah, we got to do the safe. All right. Can't even hit that. That's all right. Uh, okay, so this is this was completely blocked off, so obviously we're not supposed to go that way. I'm I'm guessing that Yeah, this door is unlocked. And so I'm guessing this is the way we were supposed to go. Okay, so we come in here. And that door's unlocked. This is just a hole in the wall that the zombies made. So I guess... I guess we go back in through here. Let's uh let's actually salvage this. We'll get some decent parts, including plastic. Okay, yeah, so the light's pointing that way, so we know that's the way we're supposed to go. But I guess we're they want us to check out this room first. Is there anything uh hidden behind there? It's kinda hard to say. Nope. Hidden stash and hidden stash. Bullets and a hunting rifle, which we don't need. More ammo mission. And then a bunch of cardboard boxes. Another hidden stash here. Uh... Oh, I th we do we already have one of those on here? No, we don't. We only have a 4X. Nice. We need that. We absolutely need that. Okay, let's put this on here. Sweet. We got an upgrade for our sniper rifle. Love it. Okay. Now if we could only find an, an actual sniper rifle that's better than the marksman, which we have not been able to do so far. That would be nice at some point, to use the real sniper rifle. The marksman rifle, the superior marksman rifle, has been kicking ass and taking names, so I'm not complaining. It's done quite well for us. All right, I guess that's it for in here. Um, There isn't anything I missed in these stacks, is there? I don't think so. Okay, let's proceed this way. Nice, we got an upgrade. I love it. So this comes out to here with a couple of salvageable vending machines. Okay, so the light wants us to go this way, and this is actually the other side of the ground floor with what looks like to be the luggage. There's a, a safe there. So we're probably going to run into more Zombaruskis in here. This is a salvageable mini machine, and I don't see any carts with food in them. All right, let's check out this area. Oh, quite a few safes. What is that? Oh, that's just a, a ruined luggage pile. 
let's clear the, the floor first before we uh, do anything else. You know, it we should be able to actually get a nice little chunk of plastic out of all these uh, suitcases, all this luggage. There's a, some ammo bags. There's some chests. Yeah, we must have already cleared all the zombos out of here because I do not see any. Okay, so let's look at these guys real quick for some canned food. And I think I'm going to um, bust my way through here. Uh, just so we can get out through there. Um, all right, so this is actually, I, I really don't give a rat's ass about any clothing that might be inside these suitcases, but this is actually going to yield us a decent amount of plastic, I think, when it's all said and done. So let's do this just for the hell of it, just for funsies. Um, let's go back over here for a second. All right, I'm going to put the, uh, the plastic that we currently have, which is 196 in this cart, and let's just see you know, how much plastic we get from this room. Um, so let's see, how do we want to do this? Let's, uh, let's open up the good stuff. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really nice. We'll take that. Let's open up the kind of the more valuable stuff on camera and then I'll, I'll just do all the, all the plastic stuff, um, off camera and show you the end results. So, uh, we'll hit the weapons bags. All right, we'll scrap that and just right off out of, out of the chute. What do we got in here? Shitty sniper rifle. We'll scrap that. And let's check the safes. I guess we'll look in here. There's probably not going to be anything good, but you never know. Just basic stuff. Most of that I'm going to scrap. And okay, so let's just check these four skate uh, safes, and then I'll I'll do all the the luggage um, off camera and show you how much plastic we get. Nice marksman rifle. Two hundred sixty-six dollar make you holla. Purple hunting rifle. And some ammunition. Okay. I'm going to uh, scrap all of the luggage and other plastic items in here. And when I'm done, I'll show you how much plastic we got. Okay. So uh, we pulled out a total of... 187 plastic from all of the luggage and a couple other items there, too. So we almost doubled our plastic. That's all going to turn into shotgun shells for us. All right, now, where do we go from here? I think we've covered... Uh, do we have a light directing us somewhere? Don't think it's that direction. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I'm not sure where we go from here. Don't see anything over that way. We came through that direction. Let's go look over here again. See, this was all blocked off. So we're not, we're not supposed to go that way. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little stumped. Because even if, even if this is the end of the store, because I think we've already been up on that floor, there still should be a way out. And it's not, it's definitely not this way. I mean, how could it possibly be this way, right? <laughs> um, hmm. 
Do they expect us just to go? Yeah, so we've already been over here. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it, you guys. I, th I think maybe it is. Okay. Because this doesn't have a second floor on this side of the building. It's just the big open area. We've already been up on the roof. We found this little secret stash room. And that just led around to there. Let's go back up here for a second. So did we come through here? No, we haven't come through here. Okay, yeah, so we're not quite done yet then. Let's check all these boxes. I'm, I'm a little bit lost as to the pathing though. I think, uh, I think we kind of got off track with that. Some shoddy shells in there. More research points. One thing of paint. Yeah, that's useful. I don't see anything back that way. It's all just going to be clothing stuff, which we don't need. Um, we could, I guess we could compare that to what we're currently wearing. This has more cold resistance, but I'd rather have more heat resistance. So we'll just scrap that. Let's scrap this too whilst we're in here. Um, the thing is though, is I don't, I don't know if there was a doorway there or not. That led up to the, to the roof. That just goes back out to the cashier's floor. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just go this way. I, I've obviously lost the pathing, but do we get plastic from this? No, but we get brass. We need that too. All right, so we haven't been in this room. I think the mineral water stands are broken because I have not seen a single one of those have any water in them for a very long time in this mod. We're going to be able to make lots of sham chowder. That's always a good thing. Always a good thing. Do these give plastic? No, they don't. Okay. Oh, that's okay. This is this room, right? I got you. Okay. I think we need, no, we need soup stock to make gumbo. Um, that's what I'm out of is soup stock. Yeah, that's nice, but we don't need it. We'll take this part for the brass. Worried about that stuff. Okay, let's check these. Oh, did we check all these? Yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, all right, where does this go? Oh, we came through this way. Okay, so this goes into like an enclosed area. A couple cabinets and some monitors. Almost, this is almost like a, the security area, I think. Do we get plastic from these lights? Nope, we don't. Okay. So this is like the security guard area, I guess. Um, all right. Now I think maybe we're done. Wonder if there was something valuable in here that the zombies ruined. 
Well, one thing about this place is, man, there is a lot of really good salvage. Uh, if you know, if a person spent enough time to go through everything, um, you can get some really good salvage from this place. But there's nothing up there. We have we've already been up there uh, multiple times. Um, so guys, I think that's it for Isaiah. Pretty neat POI. Another one of the really good ones. I, I enjoyed going through this place and checking it out. Uh, pretty darn cool. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, let you guys go here. And um, in the next episode, we will uh, continue. I guess we'll just continue our search for dune buggy parts. I mean, that's that's really the only thing we need to do other than our kind of grand finale episodes where we're going to do the entire Eden Mall and get to our helicopter. Um, so, yeah, I'll I, I tell you what, though. I mean, we're not going to spend forever looking for dune buggy parts. Uh, I can only do so many POIs, and if we don't find them within a reasonable amount of time, we're probably just going to not be able to do the dune buggy. What I could do, you know, if it comes down to that, you know, if I feel like we've made a reasonable effort to find it and we haven't, we might spawn it in and just play with it a little bit just to see, you know, what it's like. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Let, let me know in the comments how you guys feel. Do you want me to keep doing this um, indefinitely? You know, and what I mean by doing this indefinitely is basically we just continue going through custom POIs um, until, you know, we either eventually get through all the custom POIs, which is going to take a while, um, or do we... You know, do we give it a, a a couple more tries, and then if we don't give it up, um, go ahead and hit eat ball and get to our helicopter. So let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments. Now, here's another thing we could do. Um, we could continue hitting the POIs in this series, um, and you know, I could I could do it. You know, do one or two videos a week on it, and then I I could also though start a war as UK uh, because that is the plan. Do we get plastic from these? Uh -uh. Um, that is the plan uh, for the you know for the next series that I'm going to do for seven days is is to do Juarez. So we could actually start Juarez and keep uh, Undead Legacy going a little bit longer. And the only you know the only thing we will do in Undead Legacy is hit custom POIs until here again we either uh, have done all of the custom POIs that are in the combo pack, um, or you know at least most of them. Uh, and or find the dune buggy parts and then, you know, finish finish out the series with the, the Eden Mall uh, for it. So let me know how you feel about all of that uh, in the comments and um, we'll go from there. OK, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.